we're going to talk about setting up your layout and making sure that all the elements are in the correct place and all the layers are in the correct order. So to begin with, I set up a sheet that was a 36 inch by 24 inch RGB 300 ppi sheet. And I began to bring in a series of layers. I've got a background layer, a guideline layer, and a drawing layer. And I isolate those layers by locking them and, um, and turning them on and off as, ne as needed. So the first thing I did was, I'm going to turn off these drawings. So the first thing I did was I brought in a background layer. And Place that accordingly. And I'm going to use this background layer to create a little bit of white space at the bottom that I'll establish by ground. The next thing I did was I created a guidelines layer and began to draw some guidelines on the page that helped me to establish where I thought some of these elements might go. Next, I started to place my drawings. And I placed um, TIFF files so that I can go back and adjust these TIFF files at a later time. You'll notice that when I click on these, each one of these TIFF files, the plan, the section, are all a series of clipping masks. And I showed this in class, but let me show you again how to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to zoom into this section. And I'll select it. And I'm going to release this clipping mask. Show you how to do it. So I'm going to use the pen tool uh, to create this clipping mask. And just for the sake of legibility, I'm going to make the line that I'm drawing a black line. I'm going to take this pen tool and I'm going to use the shift key to create a straight line, force it to be a straight line both vertically and horizontally. So I'm going to click around the points. At the very end, you'll see a little circle that appears where I connect this at the end. I'm going to do my last click. And I'm going to connect this particular shape. Then I'm going to select, in addition to this shape, I'm going to hold my Shift key, and I'm going to select my image. So now I've selected the image, and I've selected the shape. And I'm going to go to Object, Clipping Mask, Make, where the shortcut is Apple 7. And that is going to make a clipping mask of the object that I've created. You can take that object and select it and move it into place. You'll notice that with your white arrow tool, you can go back into your clipping mask and select multiple dots and adjust your clipping mask to get more or less of your particular drawing. So you can always fine tune and adjust your clipping mask as necessary. And you place your sections and your plans accordingly. And I've done that for each one of these. I've brought in my drawing, I've created a clipping mask, and I've clipped out the area uh, that I wanted to use. And once you're done laying this out and you're happy with the layout, we talked about sets and adjusting your drawings to, to line up with the particular sections, you can turn off your guidelines and you're left with your background, your plans and drawings, and, uh, and your layout sheet. Now, if you need to go back and make adjustments to these drawings, you can go back and do that, save your Photoshop file, your TIFF file, and come back into Illustrator and update those files. Thank <laughs> you.